The majority of black men are disgusting. You know what I'm saying? They can be easily fooled. They can be easily fooled into Islam. They can be easily fooled into Baptist, Christian. They can be easily fooled into being a more. They can be easily fooled into being a five percenter. They can be easily fooled into thinking that they're African. They can be easily fooled into any elite psyop like George Floyd, Walter Wallace, and such things of that nature. They can be easily fooled. And they can be easily fooled. Into having sex with a tranny. They can be easily fooled. And the proof is out there. You know what I'm saying? Joan Rivers. If you guys don't ever, don't, un, don't don't know who Joan Rivers is. She was a, you know what I'm saying, a media personality and influencer in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? A Hollywood reporter. You know what I'm saying? In Hollywood. And Joan Rivers spoke to the media and she exposed she said Obama Barack Obama is a homosexual and she also said that Michelle Obama is a tranny now this is a white woman actually I think this is a white Jewish woman this is a white woman who said this just hours later after she said it, she wound up dead. Just hours later, and this was back when Obama was in office. Just hours later after she announced, after she said that Barack Obama was a homosexual and Michelle Obama was a tranny, she was dead. Now what do you people got to say about that? Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence that she was found dead after she said that? Let me tell you something, people. Not only that, that's one, that's number one. Number two is when Barack Obama was giving a speech and he slipped up and called Michelle Michael. He slipped up and said, well, Michael and I... Instead of saying Michelle and I. So he slipped up and said Michael. That's slip up number two. Slip up number three is when Michelle was on the Ellen DeGeneres show. And she had some white tight like spandex tight pants on. And she got up. Out of the chair to go to the board, the, the the screen, and it was a big bulge in the middle of Michelle Obama's pants. The whole world seen it. I did news reports on it at the time, and at the time it was a lot of other truthers on YouTube, and a lot of other truthers did news reports on that same thing, pointing out Michelle's bulge. That's three. Three strikes you out. It is easy for a black man to get caught up with a tranny because all a black man needs to see is is that tranny having a big butt. Or you can be a man. All you need to have is a big butt and a smile. And you can fool the majority of black males. Let me tell you something, people. The whole world is going crazy and then made B Michelle Obama's cousin go viral. Let me tell you something. She's on Instagram. Michelle Obama's cousin on Instagram. Her Instagram name is LaDiva321. LaDiva321. Three, two, one. Now here we here we go. This says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because if my people really had knowledge, you would understand what a diva means. Decipher the word diva and tell me what a diva means, people. I bet you I bet you the majority of you all can't even tell me what the word diva means. Diva Live. They have TV shows called Diva Live. 
You know what I'm saying? RuPaul is considered a diva. Let me tell you what the word diva means, people. And you can cross-reference me. And you can check it out for yourself. The word diva means goddess. G-O-D-D-N-E-S-S. Goddess. That is what the word diva means. Like I said, if you don't believe me, go ahead and do your research yourself and you'll find out the word diva means goddess. So when you see the uh, uh, the LGB community with the TV show Divas Live, I think that was RuPaul and them, Divas Live, they call themselves divas. Are they women? No. They are trans. And they call themselves divas. You know what I'm saying? Divas means goddess. So when you see something like Michelle Obama's cousin post up this photo of herself just showing her booty, that goddess got you worshiping her. You are worshiping that goddess. When you when you looking at women and you favoring these women that you know what I'm saying that got these nice shapes that's posting up on social media and you slobbering and your 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 your, your tongue is dropped out your mouth, you're worshiping and praising a goddess. Now, the Most High God didn't make any goddesses. Who made goddesses? Satan. Satan is the only one that made goddesses. The Most High God is the God of lo- He's a God alone. There is no other God above Him or beside Him. The Most High God, a higher, is His name. He's God alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeshua Christ is our Messiah. You know what I'm saying? And there is no other goddesses. There, there is, there is the. The real to be one hundred percent with you. There is no such thing as prophetesses. I mean, I mean, I can, let me let me rephrase that. There is a such thing as a prophetess, but a prophetess is in order. If you see a woman out there that's calling herself a prophetess and she's not up under her husband, she's out of order, and you should not take any advice from that harlot. Because that's a Jezebel. That's another woman that's operating in the goddess spirit. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to wake up and you got the guys got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing that these Hollywood elites put out. Nothing that these celebrities put out is good for you. It's all detrimental to your spirit. It's all to have you worship fallen angels. Because that's what goddesses is. Goddesses is a fallen angel. The gods of this earth are all women. That's another thing I must tell you people. Tell you again. The goddesses of this earth that you praise are all women people. In the deep dark world, the spiritual world, all women. That's why America praise the woman. That's why the woman is beyond saying can do no harm, can do nothing. But they, because they praise the women, people. You guys got to wake up and understand this, people. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Um, tune in to tonight's uh, uh, um. 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook. Go to Facebook, type in 90.1 Israelite Radio. We got live shows, live radio shows for every day of the week. You want to get educated? Subscribe and follow 90.1 Israelite Radio on Facebook. Tonight show is the lampshades. It's two twin brothers who is speaking the true Israelite truth. 
So go ahead and check that out. They airing tonight, uh, two o'clock Pacific time. Um, 2 o'clock Pacific Time, 5 o'clock Eastern Time, right on 90.1 Israelite Radio. Don't miss that. Don't miss out on that. Also, tomorrow is Friday. You got the Israelite Teaching Show with me, Pastor Michael Smith, and Brother Q-Tip. That's tomorrow night at 9 o'clock p.m. on 90.1 Israelite Radio. Saturday, you got the Spiritual Food Hour show. Saturday at nine uh, at twelve o'clock noon on nine zero point one Israelite Radio with Pastor Michael Smith and Sister Lady Smith. You know what I'm saying? And we got a show for every day of the week. You want to get educated? Go to nine zero point one Israelite Radio. Tell your friends, tell your family where you can go to to get the truth. All right. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. Also, if you're new, if you want more exclusive content, exclusive conversation, weekly Bible study, and much, much more, well, join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group. You can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Don't forget. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you can be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you like this show. Comment board, much, much more. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.